published, 1935 EDT, April 11, 2018, updated, 357 EDT, April 12, 2018 A bid to charge householders pay as you throw fees for the rubbish they put out has been branded ridiculous by critics. The controversial idea from council chiefs would see residents charged for the weight of the general waste they put out. But there are fears it could lead to a rise in fly tipping coupled with concerns about spying on people's bin habits. The regime would require the installation of electronic chips in tens of millions of black bins so collection lorries can recognize them. The controversial idea from council chiefs would see residents charged for the weight of the general waste they put out the idea was set out in a policy paper by the local authority recycling advisory committee the group said the introduction of pay as you throw systems in ireland and other european countries had increased recycling rates in fact the irish government has been forced to modify its approach in the face of public anger over the charges schemes in ireland vary but a family can be charged as much as 309 pounds a year for a waste allowance of up to 950 kilograms with an extra 16.5 p for every kilo over that limit currently in the uk bin collection costs fall under council tax bills have gone up by an average of 81 pounds this year the steepest rise in 14 years there are fears it could lead to a rise in fly tipping coupled with concerns about spying on people's bin habits Lerac which speaks for senior council raised officers, said the pay-as-you-throw charges could be kept down if manufacturers and supermarkets, which are responsible for excess packaging, were forced to pay much more to fund council rubbish services. The idea was first put forward by Tony Blair's Labour government more than a decade ago when councils were encouraged to run trials. Millions of bins were fitted with chips, often without the knowledge of householders. However, the scheme was dropped following a public backlash over what was seen as a new stealth tax. The campaigning group Big Brother Watch argues Britons will not accept council surveillance of their waste habits and the resulting charges. Its director, Sophie Carlo, said, This is a ridiculous, unworkable and intrusive idea that we blew out of the water a decade ago. Charging struggling families for the weight of their rubbish is not the solution to our serious environmental problems. The idea was first put forward by Tony Blair's Labour government more than a decade ago when councils were encouraged to run trials so authorities monitoring your waste would reveal information about your households, your habits, when you're at home and when you're on holiday, while doing nothing to deal with the problem of overpackaging. Local authorities really need to drop this ludicrous idea. Lorek argued the charging regime would boost recycling as people would make sure plastic, paper, glass and food are put in household recycling bins, which would not carry a charge, rather than general black bins. The government is consulting on reforms to how the UK pays for the collection, handling and recycling of waste. The Lorek policy document says rubbish collection should be split away from council tax. The group states, Lorak believes a fundamental shift in funding is needed. It is time to look at how we decouple provision of waste services from being considered what council tax pays for and move it to something that producers and users are responsible for. Other ideas include a flat annual fee and charges related to the number of fags. John O'Connell, chief executive of the Taxpayers Alliance, said, You can guarantee that when bureaucrats cook up a scheme to charge residents for a service, they aren't thinking about cutting your council tax to match. Hard-pressed families will resent paying extra for an army of bin snoopers telling people what to do. By contrast, Lorac's proposals have the support of the campaign to protect rural England. Its litter program director, Samantha Harding, said, charging people to pay as they throw, when it's a charge they can avoid by using proper recycling infrastructure, is probably the best way to revolutionize recycling levels. Lorac is opposing a wide-scale deposit and return scheme for all plastic drinks bottles and cans, which the Daily Mail has campaigned for. Instead, the group wants a more limited scheme that will cover only small containers. It wants larger plastic bottles to continue to be collected by local councils because they make money by selling them on for recycling. Waste collection lorries would be equipped with electronic devices to read each bin and weigh their contents. Implementing a pay-as-you-throw system would require electronic chips being installed in tens of millions of black bins. Waste collection lorries would be equipped with electronic devices to read each bin and weigh their contents. The weight of the rubbish would then be charged to householders' accounts. Other options include a flat annual fee, charges related to the number of bags, or charges related to the frequency of collections. Similar schemes are already in place in Europe. In Ireland, households can choose from a range of private collection firms, which offer a variety of tariffs. McGrath's in County Mayo, for example, 
offers a 309 pounds annual charge for an allowance of 950 kilograms in general waste collections. The excess weight is charged at 16.5p per kilogram. In Berlin, residual waste collections cost between 48 pounds for a 60 liter bin to 227 pounds for a 1,100 liter bin. Paid quarterly if collected once a week. Bio waste bin collections are up to three times cheaper and all recyclables are taken free of charge. In Budapest, residents can select how often they want their collections as well from up to five different bin sizes and are charged accordingly.